So after repeated efforts to metricate the countries, we still have a unit of measure for capacity that isn't metric, as well as defies logic, the gallon. It defies logic because we have two different kinds. Where would the fun be in that if there was only one kind? We have two different kinds with two different sizes. And products, whether it's ketchup, milk, cooking oil, or in case of this automatic transmission fluid, they get labeled with the gallons differently. This is one gallon, 3.78 liters, is this kind of gallon on the right here. In blue are, is the US gallon numbers, and on the left here is the British gallon, the red coats. Bigger, four and a half liters, as shown on this. I just printed it off from some milk labels in the in the UK. You can see one pint, two pint, four pints, and four pints is half a gallon. So if you make it eight pints, a full gallon, you're going to get four and a half liters out of it, thereabouts. This kind of gallon different gallon and of course it affects your uh, fuel economy figures because how many miles can your car do per gallon of gasoline it depends how big that gallon is if you have 231 cubic inches in it 231 of these this is a cubic inch one inch wide by one inch tall by one inch deep shape of course your car can do fewer miles on a smaller gallon and can do more miles on a bigger gallon so it does matter which gallon it is and this has been delighting plumbers pipe fitters boilermakers and people calculating with gallon in general as well as cooking where cups and other measures are all based on smaller fractions or portions of the gallon so why do we have two different kinds of gallons there are historic reasons for it and short in short both of these gallons were born as a as an attempt to standardize and harmonize different units of measure. So back in 1707, there was only one uh, there were uh, there was only one kind of standardized gallon, the gallon, and it's this kind. The gallon, the standard gallon, the 231 cubic inch gallon was uh, ordered or legalized by Queen Anne to be used and was an attempt to get rid of the different kinds of gallons in the uh, in the day for different kinds of agricultural produce and commodity. There was a corn gallon used for corn, a wine gallon only used for wine, different from the corn, different size, uh, an ale gallon for beer, and so it was all kinds of products measured with different kinds of gallons, so they just standardized it to be the gallon. And this 231 cubic inch figure comes from a cylinder when a cylinder is exactly seven inches in diameter and six inches in height the volume of that cylinder will be 231 cubic inches if 22 seventh is used for pi now pi on a modern calculator of course with the 10 digits is 3.1415 but if you use 22 seventh for pi is 3.1428 so only the first two decimal digits match this one 22 over 7 was the number that was used in the definition of the gallon back in 1707 what happened in 1824 is that the imperial gallon was created along with the imperial system so in 1824 they redefined the gallon which the u.s did not follow because they broke away in uh, 1776 so the 1824 changes and updates to the gallon were not copied and they kept the old gallon that's why this is u.s customary system of measure or u.s standard system of measure that's it that in that way it's standard and in that way it's customary so the updates in imperial were not followed and the definition of the new imperial gallon was that it should be a container not this container just a container that holds exactly 10 pounds of distilled water and it happens to be that big 277 cubic inches now this of course was uh, a little bit refined and standardized because the distilled water the 10 pounds of distilled water had to be at 17 degrees temperature or 62 degrees in fahrenheit and at a standard atmospheric pressure of 30 inches of mercury or 762 millimeters of mercury or 14.7 
uh, PSI. So this 1824 definition later was further refined because this, oh, I forgot to mention, this was measured with a brass mass, this 10 pounds, and of course the brass wasn't standardized enough because there are different alloys of brass, admiralty brass, naval brass, different kinds of compositions of uh, amount of copper and zinc mixed together, maybe some tin in it, whatever, so the brass had to be standardized as well as the, uh, they refined the figures for the uh, density of water as well as the pressure at which the measurement was taking place. So anyhow, this is still the space, the volume, 10 pounds of water takes up. And this is still the space, again, that a cylinder has when it's 7 inches in diameter. So if you take the radius 3.5, you square it, you multiply it by, instead of pi, 22 seventh, and you multiply it by 6, you will get. 231 cubic inches. So, as a result of the US gallon or the 1707 gallon being smaller than the 1824 imperial gallon, this one holds fewer cubic inches and less amount of water. That's pretty much the end of the story. If you're a plumber or you still have to calculate with this, uh, my condolences. Now, eventually, Countries will go along with matrication, and here is a food label for milk uh, from uh, from Canada. You can see English and French uh, numbers or what uh, writing on it, as well as this is for liters. So eventually, uh, producers and marketers of milk will stop labeling it with idiotic decimals, and we'll just call it four liters, two liters, one liters, whatever. The same kind of nonsense will eventually end. It's not going to be one gallon. It's going to be some metric number that everybody understands worldwide. So that's why we have two different kinds of gallons. And uh, like I said, if you have to work with them, good luck.